Hello, this is section three of Alice in Wonderland. Now, in the last reading, we reached the point where the white rabbit really didn't understand what had happened when Alice grew and then became small again. He took out his watch and frowned. Come on, time to go, he muttered. Alice ran after him. But the white rabbit ran much faster through the grass than tiny Alice could manage, and soon she lost him. All around her were weird weeds and flowers and leaves that seemed enormous, with all sorts of strange creatures flying through them. There were even pieces of cake with wings that melted away as soon as she tried to catch them. Between two clumps of grass, Alice saw the strangest caterpillar ever. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Caterpillar, she said. I'm um, uh, looking for a white rabbit with pink eyes. Hmm, well, well, said the caterpillar. Why don't you just run after him? I have done, gasped Alice, but I'm too small to catch him. Oh, too small, eh, said the caterpillar. Now, what can I do to help? She pointed. See those pinky green mushrooms? They're magic. They certainly look strange, Alice said. The pink part will make you big. And the green part will make you small, said the caterpillar. Alice bent down and picked one of the mushrooms that was pinky green and another that was greeny pink. Which part was pinkest? It was so hard to tell. Carefully, Alice took a little bite. Hooray! She had bitten the right colour and she was growing bigger and bigger. But when would she ever stop growing? Soon her head was higher than the tallest tree. Seeing that, a mother bird said to itself, mm, This would be a nice place to build my nest. So saying, she built a nest in Alice's hair and at once she laid three brown eggs. Carefully, Alice lifted the nest into a tree. Oh, I must try one of the greeny pink mushrooms to make me small, she said, but only a little nibble. She nibbled and began to get smaller and smaller. Have I eaten too much, she wondered. No, she hadn't, for she was now just the right size of a normal little girl. Off she went again, but where to now? There were three paths ahead of her and a Cheshire cat sitting and grinning on a rock. Ah, uh, excuse me, Cheshire Cat, have you seen a white rabbit with pink eyes? asked Alice. A white rabbit, said the Cheshire Cat, grinning from ear to ear. Haven't seen any rabbits, but I've seen the March Hare. He went that way to see his friend. The Mad Hatter. Alice followed the path and soon found the March Hare, who was setting out teacups on a table. He listened to Alice's story and then invited her to have a cup of tea with his friend, the Mad Hatter. Sit down, miss, said the Hatter who was very friendly. Come and join our non-birthday tea party.
What's a non-birthday tea party? asked Alice. A non-birthday tea party? said the Hatter. Don't you know, a non-birthday tea party is a party you have on a day when it isn't your birthday. We have non-birthday tea parties every day when we don't have birthday parties. Oh, <laughs> it's such fun, laughed the March Hare, because we have a surprise every day. The Hatter went out into the kitchen and came back with a birthday cake on his head. Oh, uh, would you put this on the table for me, miss? he asked. Uh, yes, of course, said Alice. She reached out, picked up the cake, and plosh! It exploded in her hands. Poor Alice was covered all over with sticky cream, while the March Hare and the Mad Hatter laughed with glee. Ha 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 it was time to leave and that's the end of our reading today so I hope you catch up with the next section of the story when that is read next time. Bye!